Boyd. But we start, Kane, with the Magpies and their plight. Plenty to unpack here, including the way they started the game. You were concerned from the very outset they'd let Trelaw off the hook. Yeah, I was. I want to take a listen to what Adam Trelaw said prior to the round one fixture against his old side. You know, it will be a really anxious time for me and um, I will be quite nervous. I'm a nervous type person and I've quite openly spoken about my emotions and, and my feelings and um, I like to think that when I do get there and the, and the, si and the sign does go and, and the first balls bounce that um, it's like any other game to me. So they knew that. He'd done more media than any other player and this was how they greeted him with Brown and a hug. When I'm the opposition, you want to make it hard for your opponent to play against. You want to make it uncomfortable. This is what they served up and before you know it, it was three goals to zero. I just thought they made it easy. There was no physicality. There was nothing to make him feel uncomfortable. They knew he was nervous. I don't know if the modern footballer is too nice. I thought that, I think that is really unfair. I mean, you can't suggest that that went on for the whole game. Brown in the opening moments of the game, why wouldn't you greet your old teammate? It doesn't mean he's not going to play. play. I, I prefer that than players who start the game by bumping it. each other and all that ridiculous Of course you up. prefer it, because it's comfortable. It's but that, nice. The other stuff's it's friendly. You want to see, nothing. Yeah, I don't need to see a big fisticuffs before the start of the siren, but I want to make it uncomfortable. I want every time he goes next to the ball for him to feel some body contact, for him to make it hard to get a kick. Kane, when's the last awkward. time you've seen it? Look, that's, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. That's what I'm saying, Lordo. And this is why I think there's a bit of a lost art in getting your players up and coaching. They've had how long to prepare for that round one fixture, and that's how they greeted him. And it's just a little sign that Collingwood were off on the night. There was plenty of things to work through with the Magpies. The coach among them, you said on radio on the weekend that you couldn't help but think you'd be seeing Nathan Buckley through a window next year in a media box. At the MCG yeah. or, or at Marvel Stadium. You don't think he'll be the coach next that, year? That's been my gut feeling all summer. Um, and, you know, we, we talked about Nathan last week and um, we're going to have a listen again to what he said about retaining his job at Collingwood after this season. Yeah, you know, I don't feel like I have to be the senior coach going forward, you know, if, um, if that's the best thing for the club or, and I feel that I can still impact and, and help the club move towards um, contending consistently and winning flags, well then... I'll put my hand up um, and if the club felt that uh, it was better to go in another direction well then I would understand that. I'm not expecting Nathan to bang the desk and say I'm the best man for the job but I've just felt that all summer Craig and I, I just feel as though Collingwood as a club is at the crossroads. Scott Pendlebury is getting older you know he's their, their best player still and there are so many other changes at you, so many levels I just feel that Nathan will go off and have a really good career okay. in the media. Are you saying he's a lame duck coach this year? He's just waiting for the inevitable? No I'm, that, that's just my gut feeling I'm not predicting anything I, I don't think he'll be coaching next year but you know I've been I'm, wrong before and I'll be wrong again. I, th I think Hutchibi's hungry to do it. I think he's still got that in him to be a good coach. Just whether he's got that hunger. I'm not saying it's at Collingwood because it's been 10 years and if they don't make the finals they may want a fresh start themselves but I still think hard he's got a lot to give Nathan Buckley if he's got the hunger still to coach. Hard to tell from one grab in one interview but what we're used to seeing is a coach say I'm still the man. I've still got a vision for this club. Here's what we need to do. Here's a different direction we're going to go in and back me in. To, to Don't you think he'd be a bit exhausted after having to do that last time, after fighting for his job last time yeah. and keeping it, and then what went on in the off-season and the stuff he said about Trelaw and what happened there and then the Do Better report and then Eddie going. I mean, you wouldn't blame him for being a oh, bit fatigued. Can, can he bounce back from that? I don't know. Personally, I think he might just think enough's enough. He got so close twice. I'd love to see him continue coaching. I've got nothing against against him, but I certainly don't buy into the Trelaw business and whether, as a coach, he sort of lost the hunger and they're, they're by the team. But um, It's early. It's, it's, it's early. It's days. round one. Yep, of course. I, I think it's far too early to be made. But Collingwood weren't impressive. Future. They weren't impressive. No, no, but, they but, bit, but, but neither were Geelong. Ne neither were West Coast for periods. Is, is Brisbane he, certainly weren't. They looked he, a bit same old, though, didn't yeah. they? There is wasn't he, a lot yeah. for that team. Where you no, know. That's right, Hutch. Yeah. Uh, is he the only coach going in at a contract as well at the end of this season? So it's a, is it... Leon Cameron. OK, is he? There's, yeah. plenty, there's plenty of... Uh, is Simon Goodwin? Uh, Simon no. Goodwin. He, he'll have great media one currency. Sorry. Too, don't forget. Like he's in the rare spot as a as a coach where Absolutely. his media currency is so high and the earnings levels between senior coaches and media are, are narrowing. I would think.